guys welcome back to my channel today I'm so excited for this video as you guys know we've been kind of keeping a secret from you guys a big secret and the day has finally come where I get to announce it and show you guys what the big secret is and um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys <laughs> this is the big surprise as you can see it is a huge sprinter van we are van owners now and as you guys probably could have guessed we are moving into this bad boy and traveling the country for two months that's the plan at least um we'll see if we can do it in two months it's really just going to be however long our travels take so um i'll show you guys the inside real quick give you a little tour of the whole van so it is a ram pro master 2500 this is like the medium length one. They have like a short bed and then a medium and a long. We got the medium version. So this is what the front looks like. This is also a high roof. So it's a lot taller than um, some of the other versions. This door, I'm gonna walk around to the back. And this is the inside. So it's a decent size. It's pretty, pretty tall. You can stand up in it. So this is where the ceiling is, and this is how it's, I'm 5'6", 67 inches, 66 inches? Anyways. Talking about. So just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, Jake and I both um, have served in the military for four years. We both signed four year contracts. Um, we actually joined on the same day and we're getting out on the same day and that's October 10th this year But we both have terminal leave right now So we just thought this would be the perfect opportunity to travel and do all the things we want to do We don't have kids dogs any responsibilities right now So we just figured like what the heck why not so it's actually Jake's idea He was like what if we just like moved into a van one day and like just like traveled the country and I was like yeah Are you serious? Well I got, they let me get out of the Air Force like six months early to fulfill an internship program. So during this internship program, um, it was going pretty good, but we had our wedding and then I got back from the wedding and the job started to go really downhill and it just wasn't a place where I could keep working after the military. So one day I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy a van and I'm just going to get out of here. I'm just going to go live a different life. And then I was like, no, that's stupid. I can't do that. I got to get a job, make money. You know, we got a good amount saved up. Getting out so, of the military like, is very stressful. Yeah. I will say, um, they aren't joking when they say it's like a big decision and like, it's, yeah. it's very, it's like you're divorcing somebody. <laughs> I don't know what that feels like, but yeah, you're like, you're like married to a job for four years and then you just split up. It's scary. So both of us were kind of in that, that time, frame in our life where we were like kind of freaking out like yeah. oh we need to get jobs we need to figure out our future and it was very yeah we just felt it was very scary stressed. yeah <laughs> but and yeah so i was thinking i'm like no i'm not gonna do that literally like 20 minutes later i was like you know what i'm doing this yeah. I'm, I'm going to buy a van. I'm selling everything I have. I'm buying a van. I'm going to build it because on my YouTube channel I do projects. I like restore stuff and sell them for money. I'm like I could build one of those vans and then I texted Hannah like 20 minutes later. I'm like hey you want to I'm like here's what we're doing. We're buying a van. We're going to go live in it for like two months and then go live in Texas. And she's I was like, like and she's like are you serious? <laughs> and I'm like She's like, are you serious? I'm like, absolutely. She's like, all right, let's do it. I kid you not, I come home. She's already got stuff out. She's already got stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I was like, we were I ready, was to, ready go. to go. I was like, okay, I'm selling everything. So yeah. um, I've been telling you guys from the beginning of my channel, that's when we kind of, about a month ago when I first started this channel, that's when we decided to do all this. And um, I've been, we've been keeping this secret from you guys because it, it wasn't set in stone. We didn't have the van yet. It was still, things were still kind of crazy. I didn't want to announce it until we physically had this van. So we've had the van for about two weeks now mm -hmm. um, and as you guys can see or as you guys saw um, when I first showed you the van the floor is done and right now Jake's working on the framing for the ceiling and the sides for the walls. Um, our goal is to have this done by September 13th like completely done September 13th that is our end goal. Today is August 26th. So we are, it's like crunch time. We're trying to rush. And you know, the research we've done on these vans is like, it usually takes months to build these, but we're in a unique situation right now where we don't have to really work. Um, we're just out processing out of the military and we're 
um, just trying to get our ducks in a row and we have lots of time on our hands to just work on this van full time so that's what we're doing right now so I don't know I probably won't be updating you guys on the van that's gonna be all on his channel the van build anyway I can link his channel right here down below if you guys want to go check it out um, but on my channel I'm just gonna be do, I'm still gonna be filming more videos but I'm gonna show you guys like the final product of this van um, whenever it's finished which should only be in a couple more weeks like three more weeks yep that is the goal so we're kind of just trying to hammer this out really fast and the road trip is supposed to start September 23rd that's when our leave starts out of the military so we are gonna go ahead and start up the west coast and then work our way all the way around Oregon Washington up top and then all the way down the east coast and eventually land back in Texas that's where we're gonna be planting roots at, at the end of all this so Houston yep anyways now you guys know the big surprise is out if you guys have any recommendations for places that we could visit along our, our long our road trip especially on the west coast coming up that's where we're gonna be hitting first so let me know in the comments down below what are the best places to visit maybe places that are like more hole in the walls or things that people don't really know about not big touristy areas um, because those, those are the best places to visit. Mm -hmm. But anyways, Jake's gonna get back to work here. I'm gonna go inside in the air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyways, guys, we're gonna get back to work on this van and I will keep you guys updated with everything. And I'm so excited. You guys finally know it's such a relief to not have to worry about yeah. keeping the secret anymore. So yeah, we're super excited and can't wait to have you guys follow along on this journey with us. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.